In today's video, we're gonna show you how to create coupons inside a high level and how you can leverage them to increase your conversions and recover lost sales. So stay tuned and build along with us. So coupons, believe it or not, can actually be one of the best ways to recover any kind of lost sales or pretty much influence customers to buy on any kind of product that you're launching right now. So if you're launching a course or a particular product and you see hesitations on certain areas, a coupon is a great way to get people over the edge. We're gonna give you a few examples and we're gonna create some coupons literally today inside the system so you can see how they work. But the three that I'm gonna really focus on is one, something that's called a flash sale. Now a flash sale is something that you do after you launch your product and the product's been stale for a little while and you start to see a little bit of decrease and what you can do is 45 days after launch 30 days after launch 15 days after launch is send somebody a 48 hour flash coupon code which gives a person a very limited amount of time to purchase your course at a discount and the fact that you're gonna make it for about 48 hours it's gonna increase the scarcity of it so people will tend to react in a better way a second way that we're also going to show you today is abandoned carts abandoned carts will have a better time to get the person back inside your funnel if you offer them a smaller discount for them to kind of push them over the line and continue on with the purchase. You send your first abandoned cart email to remind them, then the second one you're gonna send about three hours later with a percent coupon there. And then even for the people that have been inside your email sequences or your nurturing sequences, after maybe like the fifth or the fourth nurturing sequence, introducing your coupon is a great way to get somebody to come in and take action. And that's what we're gonna show you today. So let's jump right in so we can actually build some of these out so you can see them in motion. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually create the coupon, right? So we're gonna go over the left-hand side and we're gonna go over to payments. Inside of payments, we'll go to coupons. And inside here, you're gonna notice that you have uh, an entire coupon area that we didn't have before. High level's great. Uh, they developed this. We've been asking for it for, for about a year now. And here it is, right? The first thing we're gonna do is go over to the right-hand side and we're gonna hit create coupon. Inside of here, we're gonna keep the coupon a name. So we're actually gonna do the flash 30% because this is gonna be our 30% coupon that we are gonna offer people uh, when they come in. So we're gonna go ahead and put in there. We're gonna actually generate a code. You know what, I kinda of don't like that, so I'm gonna put in flash, and I'm gonna do 30 with an exclamation point. Kinda of just makes it a little bit nicer and, and makes it super easy to do. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna make that in all caps, just making it super easy for the customer. This is gonna be a percentage coupon. I, I always find percentages do a lot better than uh, dollar discounts, but again, completely for preference on your part, but if you wanna try it, the discount is where I see the most traction. So we're gonna do 30% because this is gonna be our flash sale and we're gonna give them a 30% discount. All right, now that I have the discount here, what I'm gonna do is select an end date. Now remember, I talked about a 48 hour window. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, let's bring it back to this year, that would probably be nice, right? So. Uh, October, we're here, it's the uh, 31st is Halloween, I really don't wanna launch it that day, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make it the first, uh, from the first all the way to the fourth. I do want it to start at midnight, so I put it there, and then I'm gonna end it on November 4th, which is gonna bring it into the Saturday, and we're also gonna do midnight. So I'm just gonna put, whoop, let's make that um, zero, zero for, I'm not gonna limit the total number of products with this particular one, uh, and I'm not gonna limit it to select the products because I only have one products, but if I wanted to, and this is only for one specific course, all I have to do is hit the limit button, select the actual product. The coaching course is gonna be the membership method, uh, and I can limit just to this particular course inside of here. And it can only contain letters and numbers, so okay, so let's get rid of the exclamation point. So we have the flash 30, fantastic, we're ready to go. We created the coupon. So that is step one. Notice that it has scheduled, and you can even get a little redemption count. Now, for whatever reason I need to edit, hit the edit button, or if I wanna delete this and recreate it, I can. Now, I wanna make sure I copy the coupon code and just have that going. Now, the second part of this is, I have to go into the funnel and enable coupons, very important. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my site, I'm gonna to go to my SLO, my self-liquidating offer, and I won't get into exactly what that is, but basically, very easy explanation for it is, this is my lower end offer that leads into my bigger product. So I'm gonna go over here to my course funnel, I'm gonna to go to my order form, and I'm gonna make sure that my product, I'm gonna add the product, come over here, it's gonna be the membership method that we just talked about, I am gonna select my price, and uh, I'm not gonna have any additional options uh, in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Once I hit save, I'm gonna go into the actual funnel, so I'm gonna go back to overview, and inside of overview, I'm gonna go ahead and edit, I'm gonna go to the edit page, and I'm gonna go directly to the order form. So inside the order form, I'm gonna come over to the left-hand side, go to advanced, 
and now we have the ability of turning on coupons. As you can see, I have my coupon here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, and I'm gonna come right back out. Now, in order to ensure that this is working, I'm gonna put my funnel in test mode because I wanna make sure that the funnel works. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come up back over here. Let's go ahead and preview this. Oh, actually, before I do any of that, let's make sure we have it in test and not in live. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Let's go back into that order form page. I can just go in here, let me refresh it. And as you can see, here is my coupon code. Now remember, I copied the coupon code. I'm gonna put it in there, it says Flash 30. Fantastic, I hit apply. So I get an error that the coupon is not valid. Now, the reason why it's not valid is because I selected the dates of November 1st, so the coupon is not active and it's scheduled to be active. So this is one of the things we learned right off the bat. So I go back and I'm gonna go ahead and change the date and I'm gonna change it to today so then I can go ahead and launch this, right? So now that I've done that, let's refresh it. It's gonna ask me to put the information, so I'm gonna pause the video and do it. All right, so, and now I put in the actual code that we used before and I hit apply and boom, the coupon cool applied. How cool is that? Because we scheduled it, it did not allow it to go through. You have saved 2910 and that's the way to go about doing it. Remember that this only works with single products. It doesn't work with subscription-based products, but look at that, how cool is that? You have this ready to go and we already moved forward with a coupon, but that's like part one, right? So we created the coupon, we made it so it was limited, we saw that the coupon was invalid and now we went back and changed the date and made the coupon valid. But let's not stop there. So how do I introduce this to an automation? Well, I talked about three, right? If I go back and I go into my launch sequences, let's say my abandoned cart. In my abandoned cart, you know, somebody submits an order, they never follow through, I wait an hour, I put them into an abandoned cart kind of sequence. And inside this abandoned cart sequence, the first hour is just like a little bit of a reminder for them to go in there like, oops, hey, I think you forgot something. Come on back and just go ahead and purchase and give them a little benefits of what they're purchasing and so forth. But the second one, I email the coupon. So right here, I come in here and I give them a deal of like, let's say 10% or whatever it might be. If I go back, right, let's say after the abandoned cart, they don't purchase, I immediately after this abandoned cart, I shove them into the nurturing sequence, right? So inside the nurturing sequence, they go through this elaborate nurturing sequence to continuously you know, get them to buy the product. Then what I'll do is I'll wait, give them a little break, wait 10 days, guess what I do? I email the flash sale, like I mentioned before, with that flash 30 that we were talking about. I give them the coupon code, I say it's 30% uh, 30 off, I mentioned that it's 48 hours, I send them over the coupon. The other way to do it is, what about a pre-sale, like right before you're about to launch a product? If I go back into my coupon area, so I come in here, what I wanna do is, I wanna create a coupon for a pre-sale, so I'll call it pre-sale, and I wanna offer anybody that buys in the initial cart launch a 10% discount to kind of really pump up the sales and make sure that they know. But what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna limit to the first 100 people so it creates a level of scarcity that the first 100 people get 10% and then the coupon is no longer valid. So what I'll do is I'll put in first 100, something like this, make it super simple. And then I come over here and it's gonna be again a percent coupon. Again, that's just my preference. I'm gonna put 10%. I'm not gonna have a start date and time on this one, but what I will do is limit, limit the number of total coupons, and look at that, we're gonna put it as 100. So after the first 100, just like you saw with the time, the coupon is gonna be no longer valid. Why do I do this? Well, it's creating that sense of urgency to go in and do that. And every now and again, what you will get people to do is email you, hey, is there any way I can get that 10% coupon uh, that you gave to other people? Nine times out of 10, I'm usually an easy guy. I'll come back and say, absolutely. And then I'll just increase this limit or give them a new coupon that will entice them to come back and make it the purchase. So you create this product uh, and the start date is obviously gonna be today. There is no end date and time because now I'm just gonna limit to the amount of people that redeem the coupon. Going back over here and I go back to my automations, I go to my launch automation, which is 10 days before I launch and in here, I offer the coupon in the pre-sale. So here, I'll just throw in a wording saying that for the first 10 people, uh, first 100 people that buy, we are offering a 10% discount of the course. Now, some people are like, well, why did I do that right at the beginning? Why not? It's 10%, it's really not gonna break the bank on that aspect, and it does increase a little bit of level of scarcity for people to act quickly. 
could do it on the pre-sale, can do it on the after sale. Coupons offer a variety of different tactics and strategies to help increase your conversions. So just something to think about how you're rolling through. And now just a quick little break to recognize one of our sponsors, FT Funnels, our favorite flavor of high level, where not only you can get premium high converting templates, but more importantly, you can get awesome support, a really established community and an incredible education. And again, somebody's got to help us pay for this channel so we can keep the lights on. So we just wanted to do a quick little shout out. And now back to our show. And we're going to show you one more. One more would be when, when they actually complete a part of a course inside of the system, what we'll do is we'll reward them with a coupon to go into another course or our higher offer by giving them a 10% coupon easily inside of an email that says, hey, congratulations, you just completed your first course. Uh, we want to give you a coupon and want to incite you to go on to our next level program because it seems like you're a fit. Now, here they are. They're taking the course. They're getting excited about it. And what we do is we create a coupon, again, on our next product that offers them a small discount to move forward. So I hope you guys enjoy this. This is a crazy and awesome way to use coupons. We've been doing it for years. And now that we can do it inside a high level, we'll bring it all in-house here. And I can tell you that this helps not only increase conversions, recover the lost sales, reward customers and move them through your value ladder as you keep building on the things that you're doing and offering more products and services. So I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.